Stuck on what to get for your loved ones this holiday season? Here's some last minute ideas on today's ThinkShare. Hello and welcome to the ThinkShare. My name is Zach. I'm here to bring to what I've been thinking about, sharing about, talking about, listening to the Dozen Plug Math class. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. I have the gift that I just got slash created for my wife. I told her not to watch the channel for two or three days so that she doesn't see it. As I was struggling to try to find like one more awesome thing that I knew she would love, what I was having trouble with was I had a pretty good idea of what she wanted. I know a lot of families out there, like they give, create wish lists, send them out, and you know, at some point, pretty much everything she asked for we got and you know I just felt like there's something missing when I am not buying her something that I know she'll love rather than just something that she asked for what I invite you all to think about is what is an inside joke what is like a shared dream or a shared interest that you have with someone it doesn't have to be something that they're in love with but just something that you share with them specifically and all the time we're talking about we're, we're really close on closing on a house, which I'm really excited about because that was one of the huge goals we wanted to accomplish this year was owning a house. Recently, we've been lot, watching a lot of HGTV, Property Brothers, and on Property Brothers, one of the first things that they do in the episode is they hand a sledgehammer over to the, the new owners and then they crack down a wall that they're gonna be doing to make their house different and better. I know that that's one of the things that we've really enjoyed watching in, in Property Brothers is that first like moment. And I noticed how a lot of times, which I'm not a big fan of as you know, they hand like pink gloves to the women and then they throw a sledgehammer into the wall for cracking down that first wall. I want to get my wife a sledgehammer, not necessarily because we're going to be knocking down walls, but I think it's really that like short sort of shared love for this idea of owning our own home and being able to mess with it. Here's the sledgehammer I bought for Alyssa for Christmas, you know, when we go spray paint it. Rather than doing it pink, I colored it. It's like a sort of a teal color and it's her favorite color. So I'm really excited to give this to her. You know, it's, it's pretty simple. It was a $20 sledgehammer. I bought some of the $3 spray paint, spray painted. This is tape. What you got to look for, for all of your, your loved ones is what is something you share with them? I think that the best gifts are the ones where we realize we already have a bond with someone. Even if, if, if you've ever seen The Office, Jim Halpert gives a really wonderful gift over to Pam Oliver. But he really gives like one of the greatest gifts of all time because it's just a teapot that she wanted, but it's filled with a bunch of inside jokes. And I think that's that's the bottom of all of our relationships is we want to, we want to appreciate connection. We don't want just stuff. We want connection and we want have that experience like someone really knows us and has a bond with us and I think that's what we can do so rather than thinking about what's some gadget what's some trinket what's something that I can throw in their stocking or chocolate what is like a funny moment you shared maybe it could be just a meme that they can put up at their desk maybe it's a picture that was funny on snapchat or Instagram write a little thank you for being my best friend one of the things I love doing is going to Walgreens or CVS and printing out a bunch of pictures, writing a little letter on the back, putting in an envelope and handing it to them. I think so many people just love that. It's so simple, it's so cheap. It takes a lot of mental effort to write it and sometimes your hand cramps up if you do enough of them. I think it's solved for a lot of people out there that just wanna experience that bond with you. That gets that job done. For the last minute gift givers out there, I hope this was useful. If you want more, I invite you to subscribe. Let's see if we can get 10 likes on this video. If you want to receive notifications every day I come out with something new, hit the bell. Thank you for watching. Stay weird.